hello everyone welcome back to gedroy tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix horizon forbidden west is having an issue with crashing at startup it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck all loading screen and many more issue which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the work now the first one is all about when you are having this bubble we have to do a simple restart so to do a restart we just need to go over here in the start icon click on this particular icon and go for the restart once the restart is done just try launch the game sometimes you have to start with the restart if restart is not working let's move to the second step second step is all about we might be launching the game from the steam right so most probably every one of us will be just opening the steam and we'll be playing the game so sometimes launching the game from steam is the reason why we are having the crashing issue so it is quite important for us to launch the game from the installation folder we have two method one we have a shortcut from the steam and another one we have to navigate to the installation folder i'll be showing you both so shortcut is just go over in the game right click and go to the properties go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse now take over here as you can see this is at the top that is this pc local disk c program for x86 steam steam apps common horizon forbidden west complete edition now we just need to try launch the game so this is what we have to do so try launch the game now most probably this is a shortcut and apart from this i'll be showing you what you have to do next that is instead of like i said we can navigate to the installation folder go over here to this pc go to the local disk c go to the program for x86 go for steam go over here in the steam apps go to the common now from here we have to navigate to horizon horizon forbidden west complete edition open this folder and we have the application so from here we can launch the game both the steps can be considered one we have a shortcut from the steam another one we are navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer so just launch the game from here then that will be working fine if that is not the case we have to move to the next one that is all about hence within the installation folder i'll be showing you third and fourth step that is all about launching the game or running the game as a administrator and also running the game in the compatibility mode for this just go over here in the game right click go to the show more option from here go to the properties go over here in the compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode first set this to windows 7 and go for apply or you can go for windows 8 and go for apply next one is all about click on run this program as a administrator and that is also very important step click on run this program as a administrator go for apply and go for okay and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game once you done with this one still if you are having the trouble the next one is all about we have to make sure is the next one make sure date time and region is correct so just go over here in the search navigate to the settings now from here we have to go to time and language go for date and time go over here in the time zone automatically should be turned it on time automatically should be turned it on and this should be turned it on as well three things should be turned it on now we have to go back go to the language and region from here make sure you have to select country according to geography if you're from united states select united states if you're from uruguay select uruguay if you're from united kingdom select united kingdom do it accordingly once afterwards go back and try launch the game next one is all about launch the game and we have to press alt and tab together simultaneously whenever you wanted to launch the game this even helped many users you can try this out i don't know how this is related you can try this out if that is not the case let's move to the fifth step that is all about we have to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer we have to navigate to this pc go to the uh, documents over here now from here you will be able to find the folder for the horizon forbidden west complete edition just delete this respective folder okay when you delete this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine you have to start from the scratch once again but even this worth a lot even for many users it helps so you can try this out next one seventh step is all about we have to allow the game to window security so just go over here in the search go for control panel search for the control panel click on this one now we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall click on allow app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to horizon forbidden okay keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet keep scrolling down and you'll be able to reach over here in the h sorry okay 
Horizon Forbidden West is already added. Make sure the private and public both has to be marked. So if the game is not here, don't get panicked. We can add it by default. Just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to the program for x86. Go for Steam. Navigate to Steam apps. Go to the common. Now from here navigate to Horizon Forbidden West Complete. Select this one and go for Open and we have to add it. I am getting the error because the game is already added. So I cannot add it once again. So if the game is there you are fine with it. Make sure the private and public is marked or else you can add the game. Just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So right now as you can see in my computer which I am shooting the video. It's already and I'm connected to the joystick. So it's an external device apart from this many other things to connect it. So sometimes these even cause the issue up. So just unplug all the external USB devices which is connected on a computer and try launch the game. Once you launch the game and you're in the game, you can try connect it back and try continue this. So just open your game and once after the game is launched successfully, just you'll be getting these kind of messages and just launch the game. So once you are launching with the game and you're in the game, you can just connect back the external controllers and afterwards just get in the game. Just click on the play button. Once afterwards, just connect the controllers back and you can try continue playing the game. That is what we have to do. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, go for system configuration. Just search for system configuration and open this one. Go for the services and go for hide all Microsoft services. Okay, just click on disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. Now from here we have to go for exit without restart. Once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game and that is what we have to do. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, do not get panicked, you can try a few more steps and that is all about. We have to disable the Steam overlay, so just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go over here. Make sure if it is turn it on, we have to turn this off. Once you turn this off, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to give the commands in the launch option. The first command is start with DX11. So if DX11 is not working, try with DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or you have to start with the DX12. So I don't know how, how you guys are going to accept this, but this is one of the main step which worked for many games in my knowledge in the past. So you can try this particular step which is very important. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings over here, search for the graphics settings. Now from here what you need to do is we just need to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now from here navigate to this PC, go to the local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go for Steam apps, go to the common. Now navigate to the game, Horizon Forbidden West, select this one and go for add. So once the game is added, just click on the option. From this, let Windows decide. Change this to high performance NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Go for save. Close everything. And once you close everything, just go back to the game. Try launch the game. Even running the game on dedicated graphics card did work it for many users. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory. Just go over here in the search. Go for view advanced system setting. Just search for this one. Open this one. Navigate to the advanced tab over here, go to the settings, go for the advanced, go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk C. Go for the custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, navigate to the calculator. Now from here you have to type the RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM. Type the RAM 32 GB multiplied with 1024 that brings you this particular value. Multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this. Okay, next one that is maximum size 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So go for OK, everything should be done and go back and try launch the game. So increasing the virtual memory is a very important step. It helped many users, especially for the games like, you know, WWE 2K24, for uh, what I have to say, FIFA, and even it worked for many other games. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update the windows. So just go over here, go to the settings. Now from here, go to the windows update and just update the windows for games like this one. It just necessarily need the windows should be up to date or else you'll be having the trouble. So just update the windows. 
Once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to update the graphics card. So just go over here. I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here, select the details over here. For example, you have to select the product type. If you're on GeForce, select GeForce. If you're on the Titan, select Titan. So minus GeForce, I have to select this one. Then we have to go for, you have to select the product series minus GeForce RTX 400 series is mine. So I have to select this one. And you have to select the configuration. The product should be 4090 in my case. I have to op select the Windows 11 because I'm on Windows 11 and go for start search. Now what happens is you'll be getting the latest released versions of graphics card. So over here, as you can see, uh, you have to take a new one. So I'll be selecting this one and go for start search. So uh, you'll be, you can see there are a lot of driver versions are uh, available. So 551.86 is the driver version, which is released on March 19, 2024. A few days back, download this one and install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select graphics, select every, uh, selects over here, go for submit. And you'll be getting two versions if Windows 11 64 bit for the users of Windows 11. And if you're on Windows 10, download this one, install, restart is a mandatory, and try and launch the game. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C. That can also be done. So I'll be providing link. If the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one, install, restart is a mandatory, and try and launch the game. And also you can try installing the DirectX, just go to this link, you can download this one and install it. That is also working for many users as well. Still, if you're having the trouble with the game, I would be recommending you try these two steps. And one among them is all about, you have to uninstall the game and you have to reinstalling it back to a new local disk. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. When you're reinstalling it back, so right now, as you can see, I'm on local disk C. I have to try installing it back on D or E or any other local disk which I'm available, not on the same local disk which you first installed. And once after done with this one, try launch the game. This even helped it and I found this from the Reddit. So this is actually a time consuming process, but even though it worked for many users, you can try this out. Last and the least one is all about nothing but it is all about we have to verify integrity of game files. So the verify integrity of game file is actually it's going to check all the files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all the issues will be fixed by this. So just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, these kind of issues can pop up. So it is very important. So we just need to wait this to reach 100% and I will be showing you what you have to do next.
So once you're done with this one, just close everything and try to launch the game and that will be working fine. And these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye.